Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 7, While Loops. We're going to do while loops today, and while loops are extremely important. You will be using them over and over for any serious programming, including programming for your robots. Go to your Structures palette and grab a while loop. And place that around a numeric indicator. There is always going to be a stop sign for your while loop and it will stop if it gets a true value. You can do a continue with true but most people use stop with true. The little I block will be a counter. It counts how many times you've gone around in the loop and it starts at zero. So we're going to watch that. It's going to we're going to wire that into the indicator and let's have it run for five times. So we'll need an equal sign. So when the I is equal to a number, it will be true and make the loop stop. But since we count from zero, we go zero, one, two, three, four. If we want it to run five times, we need to have it equal to four. then wire it into the stop sign. Let's do highlight execution and see what happens when we run it. I like to put a little weight in there so it doesn't eat up computer resources. And this way it'll also go slower. We'll be able to see what happens because it's going to wait one second each time. So highlight execution, run, you can see that the I started at zero and it gave a false. I goes to one the second time it ran and then it's not equal to four so it's false so we do not stop. We're on two, three, okay it's coming to four, four is equal to four so that's a true, it stops the loop and we're done and we can see that we counted from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's try something a little bit more complicated, a little bit more interesting. Let's get rid of our indicator and replace it with a waveform chart. This will allow us to graph points over and over. All right, let's try graphing essentially y equals x. We're just going to keep giving it i. That is going to be the value of x. And let's do this 25 times. Actually, it'll be 26 times because we start counting from 0. Wire the i into the waveform chart, and then let's graph it by running the program. It's going slow. You can see that the y-axis is changing on our graph with each point that's being graphed. First to graph a value of 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. It's graphing these points. going very slow because I'm in highlight execution mode. It's showing all the numbers flowing on the block diagram. I'm going to turn this off to make it go a little bit faster and you can see there's our line. y equals x. We can also graph y equals x squared by squaring the value of i. Go into your numeric palette Find the squared block, the square vi, drag that onto your block diagram, 
we want to square the value of the i. We're going to graph it, and you will see that we should get half of a parabola because we started counting at zero. Loops help you do things over and over. We use a while loop and a waveform chart to graph the equation y equals negative x minus 20.